Good morning. Good morning. It is beautiful, beautiful out here today. The wind's not supposed to be bad. I got an outgoing tide, so I'm out going fishing. Uh, Savannah area, Richmond Hill area fishing on the Georgia coast, guys. I hope y'all enjoy watching. And uh, if you hadn't subbed, go ahead and subscribe, man. Let me know you're out there. Um, I watch a lot of YouTube channels. I like to watch anything fishing, so I'm the kind of guy I watch everybody around. So uh, if you fish around here, let me know. I'll be glad to talk with you. And let's see what we can get going this morning. First little guy of the morning is a little bitty red. A little bitty red. This is what I caught last time bunch of little reds i didn't make a video because it was so windy you couldn't hear a word i said but uh i caught a ton of these little guys and some little trout on a floating rig and a live shrimp look how pretty he is he turned my nose up at him he was nice to me i'll be nice to him next cast i'm guessing this is another one this is the way these guys do. They just pile up in a spot. And then they have fun. It's a school. They learn. They meet their friends. It's just a lot of fun. If you are a betting man, what's the odds that I'll catch another one? Probably pretty good. I'd like to catch some trout. I might keep some. I don't know. I've, I've, I've uh, put a bunch in the freezer here lately, but I got to give some to my family. There it goes. There's no one. There's another one. These guys, they think they're something. They are something. They don't know no way to go, but full speed, full speed redfish ahead. If you're new to fishing saltwater, like I've only been here, I've only fished this maybe three, four years. I haven't lived here my whole life, but I'm gonna tell you one thing I learned real quick is if you catch a fish, you better throw it right back in that same spot. Because these fish school up. And those little redfish are aggressive. Super aggressive. I don't know what this is. I don't know what I got here. And the big redfish, not just little redfish. I mean, if, imagine if these were all big ones. They'd hit it just like this. They wouldn't be any different than these little guys. They don't have any more sense than that guy right there. Yes, the vast majority of my saltwater fishing was in St. Mary's. We lived down there for three years. We just moved up here. There's a few differences, but not a whole lot. I threw that jig four or five times no bites they're just too small I guess for that jig I don't know as soon as I threw the shrimp back in there there they went again there they went again let's go further down and see what happens because I ain't got past right there without one of them little dudes hitting it I'll tell you one thing that's a lot different between here and St. Mary's is the amount of croakers. And there are so many croakers here. Crazy. Way more than what I ever run across in St. Mary's. And they're everywhere. Which should be, I mean, that's good redfish and trout bait. No doubt. Them little dudes. I'm getting smart now. I need a smaller hook. Not because the fish are small, but because my shrimp are small. 
I'm really uh, using too big a hook for these shrimp. But right now it doesn't seem to matter a whole lot. For some reason, that guy pulled harder. Strong little guy. He knew what to do. He knew what to do. He's already trained. Go way out here. There's shallow water. You got this point coming out. And then it just keeps running out there. It's really a big flat. It's not really a point. I mean, this is a point, but all that's a flat. There's a bunch of shells right here, too. It's real shallow. So I'm running it across these shells. I'm not 100% sure where the drop off is. I'm looking at it. I fished it on an incoming tide. I've never fished it on an outgoing tide until today. So I know that like right in front of me here, there's a big kind of a hump or something, shell mound or something. Ooh. There's another one that pulls. He thinks he's big. Flashing around, acting up. Is that the way you act in school, young man? Your mom and daddy finds out the way you act in school. They are not going to be happy. They are not going to like your. <clears throat> not going to like your behavior. One bit. Go back up there again. Further up, with a bigger shrimp. Woo. Didn't last long. I hate to move. You know, you're not really supposed to leave fish to find fish. That's the rule. So I'd be leaving these fish right here to find fish over there. I don't know. If you're catching them, you might as well catch them. Throw it way down there again. See what kind of trouble that gets me into. Ooh, a lot of trouble. I'm in a lot of trouble now, guys. Not big a trout down there. Might need to move down a little bit and find these other fish. Ooh. Pulling drag. There he goes. Not fatty like me, but real fat. <laughs> oh, y'all look at this guy. I mean it, I want y'all to look at this guy. I mean, just as fat and healthy as he can be. I'm gonna let him go. I don't wanna clean no fish today. It's already hot, I'm sweating. I'll just fish. Let's just fish, guys. And have a good time. Now, I'm going to throw up there again. Because remember what I told you. If you catch one, throw right back. That's the kind of trout that eats him croaker. Nice fat trout. All right, see if that happens again. That was another one. I missed him, but I think that was another one. I know a lot of people, they just fish with artificials. I like to throw live shrimp and live stuff because I spent my whole life bass fishing. 
So I've been throwing artificials. And now that I'm retired and lazy, this is kind of fun just to sit back and throw it and let it drift and watch it float and catch a whole bunch of fish. It's just fun. It's more relaxing. I don't feel like I'm, you know, hunting and stuff like that. I just like catching me fish that I can catch. And I don't keep them off, so. But I will throw a jig and whatever. I'm not stubborn. I'm not stupid. I'm not uh, going to refuse to throw artificial. Well, the little redfish have moved down there. Trying to get past them. Get some more of them big trout. I'm gonna tell you what, this current's slowing way down. Just in the last few minutes. Those guys following me around. These guys right here. Stalkers. All right. A little red. They're still up there. I decided I'd throw back where I was at to start with for a minute. They're still here. Take my word for it. Still up there. All right. As I moved back here, I've gotten into croaker territory. Bait stealers. That's what they do, steal your bait. Well, I went up there, further up, further down, more that way. And I mean, all I was seeing was sharks on that flat. And I'm just not interested in having all my equipment tore up by a bunch of sharks. I didn't get any other trout. I had some bites, but it was mainly just croaker. So we may just this may be our this may be our camp out spot. We'll see. Snuck up on that guy. He didn't even know he'd been caught. Next thing you know, he's in my boat. Nice and smooth. Probably, probably won't be affected by that in any way whatsoever the rest of his life. I hope. I don't want to traumatize him. This is kind of like crappie fishing, really. <laughs> Look, man. I know those are little fish, but if you're sitting at work right now watching a YouTube video about some guy catching little fish, you'd rather be catching them little fish than sitting at work. I can promise you that right now. So I'm gonna enjoy myself. I invite you to enjoy yourself as well. Yeah. Man, I should have brought my crappie rods. I bet I could catch them on them little jigs. I bet I could catch a hundred of these things on that little crappie rod. That'd be fun. It's already fun. Now, I have got on spots. Like I said earlier, you'll get on spot. I mean, it'll be redfish except they're big ones, you know, and it's just same thing, just like this. Everybody always asks, why do you wear all that stuff? People that aren't from here, you know, that don't fish down here. After you've swallowed about 15 gnats, you'll understand. And I mean in one afternoon, one, one sitting. And those gnats will wear your throat out. I was fighting weird. Oh, it's a trout. Pretty good one. Not bad, little male. You can hear him grunting. The males grunt. know why but anyway 
It's a little keeper. But I'm not keeping fish, lucky for him. Something's happening with my tide. I can't tell whether it just stopped or whether it's starting to come in because it's starting to swing the boat around. Not it. If, it, if it's coming in already, it happened quick, real quick. I don't know, it's hard to tell. That's a pretty guy. Well, here they go again. Every one of these guys, you can just feel stuff in their belly moving around. Another pretty little redfish with a blue tail. Pink fins and a blue tail. This one's really showing out. Look how pretty that is. Lovely little fish. That one was little cutie pie. There's a little red. flounder I said I wasn't gonna keep fish but Tammy likes flounder so I'm gonna keep this one all right guys I think I'm gonna call it the day right there I caught a ton of those little red fish I didn't even video all of them I couldn't uh, I couldn't video all of them and I had stopped video and when I caught that flounder so I'm glad I caught that caught that nice big keeper trout um, so you know that's the first time I've got to fish that spot right there on an outgoing tide so that was a little experience for me and uh, I get to ride around and see, now that the tide's low, I can kind of see what a lot of things look like here. Um, a little easier than trying to tell on your depth finder. You can't do a lot of this with your depth finder. So uh, I'm gonna ride around a little bit, see what things look like. And uh, thanks for watching. Guys, y'all have a good day.